Next, I will explain what spinal anesthesia is. Okay, that hurts, right? My friend had it and said it hurt. Don't worry, it's not completely painless, but it also doesn't hurt a lot either. Really? Really. So, firstly, we will have you lie on your side. Okay. We need you to hug your knees and push your back out like a bull, like a cat. Okay, I wonder if I can do that. We will help you get into a good position, so don't worry. Yes, please. After your back is sterilized, first, there will be an injection of local anesthetic, just like at the dentist. This feels similar to when a drip is put in. Will that be okay? Yes. Next will be the spinal anesthetic injection. It will be the same place as the local anesthetic injection, so it won't be as painful. That's good. All in all, it will take five to ten minutes. After that, you can roll onto your back again. The anesthetic will work quickly, so you'll be numb from your belly button downwards, or you won't be able to move your legs. That's scary. I understand that can indeed be scary, but the anesthesia is needed for the operation. Having no anesthesia is more scary, I guess. That's right. After we check that the anesthesia is working properly, the operation will start. If the anesthesia is not working well enough, the plan will be to change the general anesthesia. I see. Also, depending on the shape of your back, there are patients in whom spinal anesthesia can be difficult. In the case of a failed needle insertion, we will change to general anesthesia. In your case, Dolores, because you have extra fat on your back, there is a moderate chance of converting to general anesthesia. I know. You will be awake during the surgery, but it will be okay because there will be no pain. Is it possible to sleep during the surgery? Yes, it is possible to have sedation through the drip to be able to sleep. Different to general anesthesia, though, you will not be completely unconscious. Also, Sometimes you may wake up during the surgery. In patients with bad snoring, oxygen levels might drop. If that happens, the sedation will be stopped and the surgery will continue with you being more conscious and awake. Yes, that's because I'm quite overweight. No worry, I snore a lot. In that case, the risk of your oxygen levels dropping will be high. For the time being, we will stick to the plan of spinal anesthesia with sedation. Thank you. One of the common complications of spinal anesthesia is a headache. This headache hurts when you sit up and it gets better when you lie down. Hmm. The headache usually disappears within a week, so often it is just monitored and treated with painkillers. It helps to stay well hydrated. It is also said that caffeine may help. Understood. Another rare complication is the formation of a hematoma in your back, and this can enlarge, compress, and cause damage to your spinal cord. This can be a problem particularly for people who are taking medications to thin their blood, or people who have an illness that makes it difficult for blood to clot. The risk of permanent nerve damage is not zero, but it is very rare, so there is no need to be concerned.